Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Lightspeed payments with the Verifone MX915 terminal on your iPad. First, we'll need to assemble the terminal. In the box, you should have received the Verifone MX915 terminal, the communications module, a 12 volt power adapter, and an Ethernet cable. The device does require both power and an Ethernet connection, so make sure that you have both handy wherever you plan on setting up the terminal. The communications module will need to be inserted into the back of the terminal. To do so, begin by turning the terminal over. And line up the communications module so that these tabs face upwards. Slide the module into place all the way until the two tabs click into place. Connect the power adapter and the ethernet cable to the back of the terminal. And plug the power source and ethernet cable into a power outlet and ethernet port. Once powered on, the terminal will begin its boot up process and assuming it's not already connected to another account, you will end with this activation code screen. We'll need this activation code in order to pair your Lightspeed account with this terminal so that the two can communicate with one another. Now that the terminal has been turned on, we are ready to configure your gateway and pair the terminal with the iPad. To do so, we will open the main menu, and we will enter the Retail Manager side of the app. From here, we will tap Settings, followed by Payment Processing. Now you will see the Lightspeed Payments banner indicating that your account is active and ready to process payments. Most of the configuration is done by Lightspeed, but there are a few preferences that you'll configure yourself, and to do so, tap Configure. I want to talk about the second half of the screen first, so I'll scroll down, and we'll talk about security options. With Allow Credits turned off, you will be obligated to refund any card transactions back to the original card that was used to pay for that transaction. So if you would like the option to refund to a different card, a card that would be swiped or inserted, you will want to enable Allow Credits. We also have the option to allow partial approvals. If the card being used doesn't have enough funds remaining on it in order to cover the full balance of the transaction, enabling allow partial approvals will allow you to partially approve the amount that does remain on the card, and then you can pay for the rest of the transaction using an alternate payment type or using a different card. You also have credit card payment mapping. This is going to default to credit card for all four types of credit card and debit card for debit. But you do have the option of creating custom payment types for Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express, and mapping those individually so that in your reporting, they show up as separate payment types rather than all being lumped together under credit card. I'm gonna leave those at their default values and uh, we're going to pair the terminal. To do so, tap the main menu button followed by the credit card icon at the bottom of the menu. And that will take us to the payment terminal section of device settings, where we will find the add a payment terminal option. If you don't see this option and instead see a message about setting up a valid payment gateway first, simply log out of the app and log back in, and you should see the add a payment terminal option. Once you tap that option, you'll be asked to name the terminal. Again, this terminal can be called whatever you want, and I'm simply going to call it Terminal. Tap Next, and it will ask you for the activation code that should still be visible on the screen of the terminal itself. Terminal ID is entirely optional. Once you tap Next, you will see that the payment terminal is pairing. The screen on the terminal itself should advance past the activation code screen to a Tripos logo screen and you should see the payment terminal has been paired successfully green checkmark on the iPad. Tap Done, and we are now ready to begin a test transaction to make sure that everything is working properly. Let's open the main menu. We'll leave the Retail Manager side of the app and start a new sale. Tap the magnifying glass to add an item to the sale. 
And then you can tap either the card or more payments option at the bottom. I'm going to tap card. And that will kick things over to the terminal, which will then provide instructions on how to proceed. Simply insert or swipe the card. Select credit or debit as appropriate. Confirm the dollar amount. And sign the electronic pad. Once the terminal has approved the payment, that approval will be sent back to the iPad and we will see the payment successful notification in the app. Then simply tap finish sale. And that's it. You have a fully functional terminal and you are ready to accept card payments. That concludes this video. Be sure to check out the Help Center for more information and videos.